What is up guys, it's Sobash here and we are going to take an exclusive look at the W3D here at E3 2015. We have with us Josh How's from the Snail Dream Team. <laughs> Snail Scream Dream Team. That's it. Alright, so pretty much what we got here is our upcoming Android gaming handheld console. Um, but it's also your phone, you know, you've got your basic phone capabilities here, you make phone calls via this. Uh, You've got messaging capabilities, you've got your contact list, you've got a browser pre-installed. Let me just get this landscape here. You've got your camera, you know, you've got all your basic Android apps. Right. It's currently running KitKat, which is Android 4.4. 4.4. Um, it's running the Snail Launcher as well. What that does is it gives you access to our Snail Store. This store here, later on it's going to be finalized and everything, but this is going to be the store dedicated to kind of like all the games that were made in 3D to run on our device. Because right. um, it is a 3D capable yes, device. it does have 3D capabilities as well. To showcase that, we've got this launcher here, Super D. Super D is the company that we worked hand in hand with in conjunction to develop the 3D capabilities for our device. Right. Um, if I double tap the screen here for demo purposes, if you look down here at the bottom, you see you the camera see, pops up. You can up. see the camera pops up, right. This right here is using our front facing camera and our IR sensor to pick up your face, scan your face, and it traces your eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth so that it gives you a 3D experience within 70 degrees, you know, 70 degree view of the device. Our tracking. Yeah, right, so it tracks, it tracks your eyes. eyes and it tracks everything that's going on and it, the 3D image itself will actually stabilize and adapt based off of where you are. And where right, you and it is very incredible, guys. You actually can't see the 3D popping out of it, but this snake actually does come out of the screen yeah, at you. It is wicked. It is cool, it is cool. Um, so another thing, I mean, I guess I can go over the basic specs of the device. The device itself is running, um, the CPU is running a 2.0 gigahertz processor. Um, that's the MTK 8 core. So you have 8 cores, to, you know, for all your gaming needs. 8 cores, yes, guys, eight cores. 8 cores. That is bigger than anything out <laughs> that I know of as far as phone. Yeah. Um, You've also got the Power VR series. Uh, it's a 600 megahertz GPU, so the GPU itself is actually great. You know, you can push all gaming like that. Um, we have Tai Chi Panda here installed. If you guys want to check it out, this is uh, the newest version of Tai Chi Panda that's soon to be released. Um, the current version that we have running on these devices is a 3D version. Let's just showcase the 3D on the device itself. Um, of course, that's the issue everybody knows. Connection problem. Pretty sure everybody's familiar with that. Let's take a look here again. Let's get this going. Okay, it looks like this server's down on this one. Um, but let me try to get another device for you to check out. All right. We have actually multiple ones here. Yeah. We have this multiple is devices. actually there's a whole another booth over there and a whole another booth over there. So they have quite a lot of them, and they actually just announced this morning the release date and the price. Uh, so far, it is on Amazon. You can pre-order it. Um, it is three hundred and ninety-nine dollars, uh, and the release date is set for December the thirty-first now of this year. But I'm pretty sure they're going to push it out a little earlier than that to get it out for Christmas. So keep that in mind if you're looking to acquire this device and keep a following on it. I'll keep you updated on when it is coming out. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is, as you can see again, just like before with uh, Super D, it's using the front facing camera and the IR to track you via 3D. Right. Um, let's get in here. I don't know which character is loaded on this one. Okay. So this is looking like Lou Landor's loaded in here. Um, and what's really great is you can actually access the 3D settings from the system options. It's currently on right now. Um, obviously, I'm not viewing it in 3D because it's not tracking my face. Right. So when it's not when it's not tracking somebody's face, the game is actually going to run in 2D. Right. This device itself is running the 4,000 mAh battery, which means it gives it up to potentially up to six hours of non-stop 3D gaming. That is insane. Yeah. So when you're not when you're not in 3D, when it's displaying 2D, you've extended the battery life for the gaming purposes as well. I think right. we're looking at almost eight, eight and a half hours of non-3D gaming non-stop. Um, but yeah, this is Lou Landor, you know, you've got your epic, you know, new gear, all that stuff, all the, you know, 3D options available here. You, you can use those sliders to actually adjust how the 3D is working. As you can see, the screen is shifting as well. This you can is, adjust it to your liking. Yes, you can adjust the device to your liking. Um, this is to kind of change the intensity, all that stuff, all that good stuff, all that fun stuff. Move around, you know, you've got all your buttons. Let's just go into a random instance here. And look at the buttons, guys. Okay, we have a joystick right here. Yep. You have a D-pad on the other side. 
you have another joystick on the bottom. You have mappable hotkeys right there. Yep. On the top as well, you do have bumpers. You have two right there on the left side, and you have two right there on the right side. Yep, that is correct. So and let me show you actually how the mappable joystick buttons work. Um, let's let's just go into a little dungeon here real quick. All right. Um, so cancel autoplay for you. So this is how it's gonna work. You go to this little button here, this little check, you know, little box. Right. You see here, multicolor checker box. Hit that. And then you go to custom controls and you can map everything that you see here onto a touch screen control. So by default, this is your auto attack button. Right. Then these are your abilities. I don't want that to be my auto attack button anymore. I want that to be my auto attack button. Sweet. So now I've just remapped it. So I have that as auto attack. And it's just that easy to do, guys. Yeah. But it's also still using this as an auto attack because the game remembers that this was the original control for the auto attack on the control. That's cool. And let's just say you don't like how it's mapped and you want to change it out, hit the X, clears all the mappings, everything that's on the screen. So now you have access to remap all controls. Fully customized you wish, any yeah. way you want. Exactly. I want my D-pad to work around here. And then I want these to move over here. Put that over there. Let's put these over here. You know, even you know, it's just it's just a map touch features. Fully customizable any way you want to game, exactly. guys. Anyway, game. So I can do this, you know, I do that. If you want to use the D-pad, you can. If you yep. want to use the joysticks, you can. Yep, exactly. If you want to control the joystick on the right side to move him around, you can. It's just whichever way you want to go. Exactly. So, um, I mean, I'll do that just for you, you know, check it out. This is the right side joystick for those of you who, you know, want to use the right side joystick to move around. See, there we go. Right side joystick. Yep. You clear everything out. I mean, if anything, you can also hit the default button, and it shows you what the button, what the button orientation originally was. Right. Before, you know, and then you can go through these as well. Anonymity schemes. These are, the, you know, these are the kind of setups that are already here that are preloaded. Right. It says anonymity schemes. That'll change later on in the future once it's further developed. You, know, you can hit custom again to clear it, to clear it out. But your controls still work as it normally intended. And that is is the W3D guys. Uh, remember, it is going to be coming out in the fourth quarter of this year, sometime in December. It has already been uh, released for pre-orders, so if you want to go ahead and pre-order it, you can. Uh, I am Solbash, and this is Josh from the Snail Dream Team. Thank you very much for being and here. And thank you for letting me be here as well. And I've had a wonderful time being here with you guys, and I do want to thank you for letting me come out here and join you guys in the booth. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It was nice seeing you here. Nice having you here. It's great to meet you in person. You as well. And guys, if you have any other questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and we will do our best to answer them as we can. Um, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.